day sister right it's the seventh day of the week right if you go on your calendar the first day is sunday that means the seventh day is what saturday, saturday. Right? give me genesis chapter one and verse uh, uh, right? give it to me i'm about to show you what the day is according to the bible so you know when the sabbath begins this is genesis chapter one and verse five right? it and god called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the what and, and the, the evening, evening. So the evening and the morning and the morning were the first day were the first day so a day begins when the sun goes down uh, that's the beginning of a day right? hold on read that one more time this is this is genesis chapter one and verse five right and god called the light day mm -hmm. and the darkness he called night mm -hmm. and the evening and the morning were the first day oh hey so so that's how a day starts this week, right the day starts when the sun goes down right when it and then when, once it goes back down again, that's the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. That's the end of yesterday, the beginning of today. Okay. So on the Sabbath day, which is right now, you can't buy, you cannot sell, right? Now. Wait a minute. Show me these. You can't the buy, you Nehemiah can't sell. Show me Nehemiah chapter 10. Nehemiah chapter 10. Where is my book, Lord? Is it home? Nehemiah 10 away. 10 and 31. 10 and 31. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Oh. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, to, do what? to sell, sell. Right, read. that we would not buy it. No, we're going to buy it. That we would no, not I buy it read. of them on the Sabbath Why? or on the holy day. And that we would leave the seventh year in the extraction of every death. See that? So it was, it was known that we would not buy or sell anything on the Sabbath because the Lord that it's, it, it's, uh, it's abominable to do that, right? Give me the book of Nehemiah chapter 15, right? It'll tell you that as well. Uh, verse, it's supposed to be, verse I know this verse right here. I know this verse right here too. I know Deuteronomy. I know Deuteronomy. Right, come. Start at verse 20. This is the book of Nehemiah. Oh, so, so like it right here. Read this verse. Chapter 13. In verse 19, right. and it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged the day and charged that they should not be open to after the Sabbath. So they closed the gates of where they were selling things at, right? It's kind of like they closed Walmart when the, when the, when the dark became. He said he closed the gates where they were selling things and buying things, right? Because the Sabbath came upon. Read. And some of my servants set, and some of my servants set I at the gates that there should that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kinds of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Read. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands yeah. on you. Hey, say, hey, hands on them, man. If you try to go inside the damn gates and try to start selling things. From that time forth came day no more on the Sabbath. So they didn't come to they didn't come to go buy and sell things on the Sabbath anymore because Nehemiah said he was a on it. So that so that's a serious matter. You cannot buy, you cannot sell, you cannot kill the fire, there's no cooking on the Sabbath, there's no doing no work. You gotta kinda of tell your job that you're not working on Sabbath. Right? Nothing at all. No, the only thing that you can be doing on the Sabbath is the work of the Lord, right? That's the only that's the only thing that you can be doing, right? The Lord said in the book of Isaiah, call my Sabbath not a delight unto yourself, right? Don't do the, the pleasures of yourself, but do the pleasures of the Most High, which is what? Reading the scriptures, God in the word, right? Reading. If you're a man, you're going out and teaching, spreading the gospel of the world. Because, uh, by the way, I said, right? Give me Numbers chapter 15 and 38, and then give me uh, Leviticus chapter 11. This is the book of Numbers. Now I gotta go. Give me the one that matters. This is the book of Numbers. All right, give it Deuteronomy 20. Give it 1 Timothy Which 2 and 9. Which first one? 1 Timothy 2 and 9? Come, yeah. come. come with 1 Timothy, 20, man. 2 and 9. Come with 1 Timothy. 22 and 5. Oh, I need that Deuteronomy 20, 22 and 5 first. You come with 1 Timothy. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says, the Lord said you should not be wearing which pertaineth to a man. What do you think pertaineth to a man that you would be wearing? Pants, 
Why should be wearing pants? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what would be a woman's garment? Skirt. So what should you be wearing? Skirt. But all that do so are abomination. Ah, damn. Abomination unto the Lord thy God. Well, all that do so are what? Abomination, abomination unto the Lord thy God. God. So the Lord said it's an abomination for you to be wearing those pants right now. Obviously. Right? So give me the book of Hebrew chapter 10 and verse 26. Right? Real, real you know quick, I Bible needed to child. hear that one, huh? I do. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Right? Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. Come on, what I need. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 10 and verse 26. Hey, no. it doesn't matter if your people left you, right? Because this is the Lord that's the that, that, that point, right? Lord, Lord. You, might have been, you might have been here right now to hear this word and to come into this thing. Because what? Those who follow the commandments of the Lord are loved by the all Lord. The and that's what's going to be who's going to escape the sad perils. Because yeah. all hell's about to break loose. Oh, yeah, right? you know. World War III is coming upon us, right? All hell's about to break loose, right? They're going to come after the saints. They're going to break them. All types of things are about to happen. So if you're abounding in the words of the Lord, right, this is what's gonna save you, not to be a friend, right? Not to trip you. I need to be wearing. Oh, I'm gonna get off in my book. Give me that first Timothy. I need to be wearing skirts. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. Right. Son. What? What you want? I'm sorry. Uh. Timothy. Yeah. Timothy two and nine. Come with me. First Timothy chapter two. Yeah. Bring it up. This uh this is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Oh, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In what? In modest apparel. apparel. So you're saying she's not modest. I, 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 I
we don't even celebrate birthdays. Why y'all don't celebrate birthdays? Because the Lord didn't give us this right now. I think Bible is going to put us up on the phone right now. It's the highest, the most cheapest day in Satanic Bible is your birthday. Huh? Celebration of your birthday. What? Because that's how idolatry up here is celebrated, right? You didn't create this day. You didn't create the day you were born, right? The Lord gave us uh, a list of high holy days in Leviticus. Uh, 23. 23. I swear, like, every day you wake up, it's just another day for learning. So in Leviticus 23, the Lord set apart different days. He said, these are holy days, meaning what? Separate, set apart. These are the days that you gather together, have parties, feasts. Like, we got a feast coming up Monday, right? That's going to last all week, right? So right? none of y'all... Celebrate y'all. No. The day y'all was Absolutely not. At all. Hey. Or you give no acknowledgement. All the you. accounts of, of birthdays in the Bible are celebrated by first off heathens, those who are not Israelites. And secondly, nothing good has, I has ever come of it. Did you I'm know that did you know did you know Jesus' right hand man, Amen. right? John the Baptist was his head was chopped off right? because of King Herod's birthday. Right? So on, on, on King Herod's birthday, Jesus had to learn that his homeboy, right, who he was walking hand in hand with got his head chopped off because King Herod had a birthday, right? So these are the things that are wicked. Is that you think the Lord is dealing with birthdays, man? His, his best friend just got his head cut off. Give me the verse out of Leviticus. Yes, Read out. Yeah, yeah, start, at, start at uh two. In Leviticus 11 and two. Read out. Speaking to the children of Israel, saying, these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Right. Whatsoever part the hook, and is clover footed, cl cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat. So the Lord said, You can eat any beast on the earth that's cloven footed, split hoof, and chew the cud. So what's cloven footed mean? It has a hoof like this, right? Mm -hmm. A damp hoof, and it's split in between, mm -hmm. right? A horse has a hoof, but it's not split, so you can't eat a horse, right? Mm -hmm. A cow has a hoof, and it's split, so you can eat a cow, right? And it has to also chew the cud, right? Jump down to verse 7. Uh, Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof. So what is swine? Do you know? Yeah, you said swine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the pig. Right. That's the nasty. Right. Though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. The Lord said that he's unclean. He is very much unclean. Right. He that I do know. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. So they look, are unclean to you. They say don't even touch their carcass. Don't even touch it. So you can't kind of pick the pepperoni off the pizza and eat it. You can't kind of wow. take the bacon off of the burger and don't eat it. The Lord said that whole thing is unclean because that's an abomination to the Lord. Right? Mm. Jump down to verse 9. So you can't eat pig. Right? These, these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever <laughs> hath fins and scales in the waters, in the sea, and in the rivers, them so shall ye eat. So the Lord said you can eat whatever has fins and scales in the waters. What has fins and scales? Fish, right? What about catfish? They don't have scales. Catfish don't have scales? No. Somebody just told me you can't catfish. It's a flat, like, no, shiny no, no, no. ass okay, fish. Okay, they don't have scales. No scales, right? And what about shrimp what crab about lobster? Shrimp? Don't have fins or scales. So shrimp are unclean. They're really like water roaches. They are. Crab, lobster, uh, crawfish, oysters, clams. Oysters. All of those things. If it doesn't have fins and scales, you cannot so eat those things. So only from the sea with fins and scales. Right. Only on the land with hooves and their parts. Right. And then you can go to the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, Fourteen. Which, which, what is it? Fourteen. Fourteen. Deuteronomy, the fourteenth chapter, and it'll literally lay out all of the animals that you can eat. You can read it in the New Living Translation. Hold on. And it'll tell you, right? Deuteronomy, what? 14. And it'll tell you all the animals that you can look I have my book at home, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to And furthermore, just to like make I'm it easier, this. just look up on uh, Google what what is kosher, right? Kosher means that it pertains to the law of the Lord and that it's lawful for you to eat. Yeah, kosher is. Kosher, yeah. K-O-S-H-E-R. Hey, sister. <laughs> Where y'all at? That's not really what kosher means. Huh? It's not really what kosher means. What does kosher mean? It means a rabbi prayed over it. Type in what? what? Yeah. Gliders with a G? Okay, I'm just saying, like, I was getting this word. Like, everything happens for a reason. We walk right into it. I'm not just going to abandon it. Like, but you can type in clean foods. They got Israelite websites that have that up there. Gliders what? 
So since they're on court, so what are you going to do? Are you going to choose death or are you going to choose life? Mm, I got to choose life. Mm. I got to choose life. Might got to get you some new friends. I oh. got to choose life. Yeah, or or I can take that path and then I can educate my friends. It don't mean I just got to leave them. We're all just uneducated. Let me, see, can I make, let me make a point. We're all just uneducated. Let me make a point, Maru. Let me make a point. We're all just uneducated right now. Let me make a point, sister. Uh, Yan Yan. How many of your friends in the world you still got? None. How many of your friends in the world you guys are? Uh, I don't count because all of my friends came into the troop at the same time. So that's a lucky thing. That's that. That's, that's a lucky. For you. That's a lucky Some thing. People, but I'll say, I'll say this. I say this. I say this. I don't want to do that. The, I wasn't even really dealing with the brothers that I had at the time. I was dealing with a whole different group of people, and none of them are in the troop. And they, these were my old friends that brought me. In. I'll say that. Not so really my, my, my point of what I'm saying is nine times out of ten, the friends you have are not the friends you you continue to have when you take this walk. It just doesn't work out that way, right? And you can see the spirit. You can see the spirit of people that that's, that that want to even know about the Lord and the ones that don't. Yes. And if you don't take two seconds to hear about who you are and how to love the, the Lord that you serve, nine times out of ten, you're not other people that the Lord is dealing with. Salaki, especially if your friend has a zeal for what's going on, you clearly was excited to learn about this. They should be more excited. Like, they just kind of left you with a group of men. Right. right. Just <laughs> they kind of just left you with a group of men. Just kind of just kind of left you with a group of men. Like they talking about the twelve tribes. This is what I need to learn about. Where y'all from? Like this is why we're from Louisiana. So y'all not y'all not from down here? No, not from down here. So that kind of just left you by yourself on a vacation. That's kind of messed up. They must be your sisters. They have no. They're all my friends. Oh, that, that happened, but I mean, nah. it is what it is. Especially when I, I, talking I about the Bible, too. Like, I can see if they like, hey. come on, girl, you're trying to talk to some boy or something. We're talking about the Bible. Man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of wicked, you know, and that's that kind of shows you who, hey, the Lord said, man, you got to hate your friends in this thing. You got to hate them. Matthew 12 and 48 real fast. Matthew 12 and 48. Hold on. And, and give me Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26, too. Matthew 12, 48, you said Hebrews what? 10 and 26. Mm -hmm. It is Matthew chapter 12, verse 48. Yeah. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Right. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold my mother and my brethren. For whoever so, whoever, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, and the same is my brother and sister and mother. See that? So they're not your real sisters. Like, they're not your real sisters. They can't really call you, you know, understanding like, y'all are really friends if they're not doing the work of the Lord. Like, the Bible says, can two be a uh, three and not walk together? Roughly paraphrasing. I probably put you there. Right? So you got to kind of choose wisdom in the Lord over all things. Right? Understand what's gonna happen. Bring that out, kids. 26. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. No. For if we sin willfully after so like you. Give me first John chapter 10, verse This is the book of first John. Wow. Chapter 3 and verse 4. Right, bring that up. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Right. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin? Transgression. <laughs> Read that now. How does she know? It's 
the book of Hebrews, we'll chapter 10, at verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So you're receiving the knowledge of the truth right now. You know that you can't so eat crab no and lobster, can't wear pants, can't come out the house just as you are, right? There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. What is that sacrifice? There remaineth no more. What's the what's that sacrifice? That's the sacrifice that Christ made, right? That he died for. It says there remaineth no more that sacrifice. Keep reading on it. But it's also the Sabbath day, right? You can't do these things from sundown on Friday all the way to sundown on Saturday. Read. But a certain fearful looking. But a what? But a, a certain, certain fearful, fearful looking. looking. So all, the only thing you can hope for, right? Because you can't hope on Christ. Uh, saving you from that anymore right the only thing you can look forward to is what for of judgment and fiery indignation judgment and fiery indignation right and what is that that's going to be the wrath of the most high god when he, when, when he sends his son back you understand to reap to, to uh reap everybody that they saw right reap. which shall devour the adversary and you're an adversary of the lord if you do that right reap he that despises Moses' law. So this, what we're reading right to you were the laws of Moses' time, right? Where They're we the at, laws of God. We're in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. So those that despise the laws of Moses' time, right? And these are the laws of God. Jesus, you read? Died without mercy under two or three witnesses. So two or three people saw you transgress the laws of God, man. You died without mercy, right? There was no mercy, right? Read? Of how much sword punishment? How much worse? Me? How much worse do you think you're gonna get, Reed? Shall he be thought worthy who had trotted under the foot the Son of God? So you kind of stepped into the Christ because he, he died for your past sins. And you continue with the sin. Like Christ, Christ got up on that cross, did what he had to do, and, and, and was down. All right. Afflicted. Hey, this is. Oh, man, y'all beating on me right now. Y'all beating on me right now. Y'all beating on me. I'm about to show you why we doing that. Y'all beating on me. I'm about to show you why we doing that. We I'm not even get, mad. Like, sometimes you got to get beat. Right. right. With that word. 11 and 10. Oh, man. This is what we instilling in you right now, right? Come with it, kid. I need it, obviously. 11 and 10. Get him, It's 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The what? The, the fear, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We're trying to instill in you fear because the Lord said that's the beginning of wisdom. Once you truly fear the Lord, right? Because you don't truly fear the Lord if you can wake up and do what you want to do and say, I know, but shit, I'm going to do it anyway. You don't fear the Lord. You don't think that the Lord can kind of put you to death right now. Read. For good understanding, have all they that do his commandments. So the Lord's going to give you good understanding once you his commandments, right? You kind of put your modest dress on, right? You put your uh, your modest apparel, and you you know uh, you keep it the Sabbath day, and you're not eating shrimp crab lobster, of course, right? Read. His praise endureth forever, and that's kind of how you praise the Most High, right? It's not the folly that you see in the Christian churches today, where they kind of go to a worship service and they dance and move and holler and say, "Oh, I praise the Lord today," right? The Lord doesn't look at their praise, man. The Lord looks at obedience. Right, your obedience to the Most High, and that's how you praise the Father without uh, ceasing. Right, you praise Him every day by your actions and the things that you do. Right, when Christ came to the earth, He came to His will of the Father, not His own will. So every action that you make, everything that crosses your brain, you got to think: Am I transgressing the Most High by doing Right. Every time I go into a store or I go to a drive-thru restaurant, right, I have to inquire about these things. They're pork in there, right? If I go to a Chinese restaurant, I want an egg roll. I got to say, well, what do y'all make that with? You mm -hmm. understand? That's me doing the will of the Father before myself, right? Because the will of me is going to order a, 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 a damn egg roll. not caring what's in there, right? But I got to think, if I transgress the law of the Lord, right? And, is, is, this what I, is this what I'm trying to do? You understand? So you got to move with wisdom and wisdom. So that's, that's what this whole thing is about, right? Give me the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse uh, 14. And give me the book of Revelation 14 and chapter 12, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Right. Blessed are they that doeth his commandments. Right. That they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter and through the gates into the city. And what are those gates, right? He's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Let's read it again. Blessed are they that do it his commandments. No, they know his commandments, but don't do them. Blessed, Blessed are they, they that do it his commandments. So that's who's blessed, right? Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. What is that tree of life? Eternal life. You have to 
And may enter in through the gates into the city. Right. For without our dogs. So if you don't have, if you're not keeping these commandments, right? You're a dog. You know the female dog, right? Three. And sorcerers. Three. And whoremongers. And murderers. And idolaters. And whosoever loveth and make it alive. Yeah, you know, you're a cast on these people who are them sorcerers, whoremongers, idolaters, and things of that nature. Bring that up. Revelation 14 and 12. I'm, I'm sorry. This is for people who don't keep this commandment. Right, right. But well, I'm about to show you something. Here is the patience of the saints. Read it again. Here is the patience of the saints. Here is the patience of the saints, right? So who are the saints? Right? The saints are the Israelites. Right? 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 So the, this is, it says, here is the patience of the saints, right? This is what they're doing. Patience. Read here are all that keep, his, keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus. That what? Here, here are they, the they, here are they that keep the commandments, commandments of God, God and, and the faith of Jesus. So you gotta be keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, right? Who we know is named the Howard Shai, right? That's right. So those are the things that you have to be doing in the last days, right? Give me Romans chapter two and verse. Uh, This is the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 23. And it reads. No, not 2 Romans. and 13. 13. Con, lock you. Verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. So what? Read it again. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. Right, read. But the doers of the law shall be justified. So the doers of the law are justified. It's not just about knowing it or hearing it, right? We have to be doing this thing, right? That's the only way that you're going to be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's contrary to popular belief, right? It's not easy to obtain the kingdom of heaven. So I'm not getting there by the little bit that I do know. You're not getting there. You're going to get there by what? By keeping the Lord's commandments, being faithful to him, right? Seeking after a heart of the most high and not a heart of after this world, right? Give me the book of First John chapter uh, First John chapter 2 and verse 15, right? Me first John 2 and 15. This is the book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 15. Read out. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father mm -hmm. is not in him. So you can't love turning up in this wicked ass place, right? You cannot love going out with your friends yeah. on Friday nights. You can't love these people. Bring the hugs. Bring the hugs. Bring the hugs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 18. Where you at? John 15 and 18. If okay, the, I'm about to walk out of here. Yeah, I can just pick it up. I apologize that I'm, I'm getting scripture. Mark 4 and 14. I know that's not the Mark 4 and 14. But when you look, look, I'm about to walk out of here. Mark 4 and 14. Wait a minute! Hey, this is right here. Mark 4 and 14. Con! We need to pray for Get that, man. Con, bring that out. Alright, come on. Give me what y'all feel like I need. You need to hear this. Mark 4 and verse 14. Hold on. Mark what? Let's go. 4 and 14. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Mark. She got scanning. Yeah. Back alive. Yeah. But when they heard, Satan, heard 
Satan come at the media. Friends call. And take it away the word. Take it away the word. That Literally. was sown in their heart. Also, also, if I can make a point, the main reason for that scripture is not just because they keep calling you. I want you to understand that when you leave, everything that you were just taught, the, Satan is going to try to pull it away from you. He's, you're going to be tested on everything that you were just taught. Everything. So you got to remember that scripture and hold fast to everything that you was taught. Right? Because... Because your, your friends are going to say, oh, you don't got to listen to that. That's crazy. Your family gonna say, oh no, you can eat what you want to eat because Christ died for us. All those things are gonna happen nah, when you turn away from here. So you gotta remember that scripture right there. Yeah. Subscribe Which to the channel, the scripture, Mark 4 and 14. That is Satan trying to take away the, the word that was sown in your heart. You gotta remember that oh, and, and watch the videos that's on the channel and continue to be built up. That's right. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. What did the Lord say? My son, my son, if thou, if thou come, come to serve, serve the Lord, come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. temptation. So the Lord said, when well, you come to serve Him, right? When you're saying, okay, you know what? I'm gonna start serving God. I'm gonna start keeping these commandments. The Lord said, prepare your soul for temptation. Right, because Satan's gonna come. You're gonna, tempt tempt you. you. gonna come, right? You're gonna go to the mall, and you're gonna see some really cute pants, and they're gonna be half off, 50, 70 percent off, right? Because it's Black Friday weekend, they're gonna be 70 percent off. You'll be like, damn, I'm gonna look good in the pants, right? And that's Satan gonna be tempting you, right? You're gonna have something where, where your friends kind of pull up a, a food truck, right? And they like, girl, let's go get this right now, and, then, and the food gonna be looking good, right? But you know that it's a savvy, you're not supposed to be buying us, right? Right. right? Satan's gonna tempt you, right? But the Lord said that what? You have to keep reading. Set thy heart on right and constantly endure. Do what? And constantly, what? constantly endure. endure. And constantly endure. You have to endure these temptations, right? And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him. Cleave unto who? Cleave, Cleave unto, unto him. him. Right. Do what? And depart not away. No. Go ahead and just leave him this time, but next time you're gonna do right. And, and depart, depart not, not away. away. Don't depart from the Lord. Stay fast in what you know, read. That they may be increased. At thy last end. That you're going to be increased in the last end, read. Right? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take That's cheerfully. True. So when the, when you come into this lower state, right, and these things happen, you might feel like things are happening, bad things happen, read. Right? And be patient when thou art changed to 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 a low estate. Right, read. Right? For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Ooh, the Lord said gold is tried in the fire, right? Not, not not, no weak ass brass or penny copper. He said gold is tried in the fire, right? Are you gold or are you, are you penny? I would like to hope that I'm gold. Right, so you're going to be tried in the fire like gold, right? The Lord said except that the men are made out of that. Man. You're going to be tried through the fire, all types of temptation, and people telling you this, and people telling you that, and things of that nature. And it's up to you to decide what are you going to be. You're going to be copper or you're going to be gold. Right, it's gonna come out of there and be solid, shining, twenty-four karat gold. Right, that's that's all it is. Right, give me bring that up. It's the book of Matthew, chapter four, and verse seventeen. Right, from the time Yahushua began to Who? preach, Yahushua began to preach and to say, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." So the Lord said that you have to repent. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What is repentance? Asking for forgiveness of your sins. Asking for forgiveness of your sins. Right? You have to ask for forgiveness of your sins, right? Promise that you don't do this even more. You understand? You can't go back to the things that you were doing because you didn't truly repent to the Lord, right? The Lord's not hearing that. If you tell the Lord, hey, I'm not going to do this anymore, right? Or if you say, Lord, forgive me, right? I've been eating pork. And you go eat pork. Do you, yes. Are you really sorry? No, nah, you're not do you sorry. you really want forgiveness? You see, so you can't do that, right? You got to kind of... Look, lay it out, right? Kind of go into the book, right? Go on the YouTube channel, figure out what's the sin, right? Go into the law, figure these things yeah. out, right? I needed this. Go to the Lord, repent, turn away from your sins, you understand? And don't do it anymore, you understand? Because that's what's going to get you the kingdom. That's what's going to increase your wisdom.
I got him. So much, like so much. You, you got what? No. He gonna walk you to where you're going. I got. I'm, I'm actually. Hey, switch, switch the, uh, switch the them brothers with uh. Hold on. Man, he kind of gave you a. Hey, get that sister a new fly, man. Hey, but wait, hey, 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 it's, it's, it's the content on the fly. It don't matter what it looks like. It matters. All right, she can't hardly read it because it's not crumbled up. I can definitely read it. All right, he gonna walk. Definitely. He gonna walk you where you going. We don't let our sisters walk alone. All right, I appreciate y'all so right, much. Like y'all have no idea. No like y'all have no idea. Hey, uh, Jamaica, take that umbrella. How do I have to go with him? You said I'm gonna throw it away. Both of y'all going. Both of y'all going. Y'all, y'all might stand out here all day, and, and, and either nobody listens, or somebody might stop for a few seconds, and it falls on deaf ears. But I want each one of y'all kings to know it did not fall on deaf ears today. Oh, y'all have a great day.